Hello and welcome to another video which is all about uh, Autodesk Revit once again uh, Autodesk Revit 2022 which is actually a follow-up to my previous video because uh, at that time it wasn't quite clear how we can add content to Autodesk Revit 2022 and now it's clear that uh, actually we can do that in different ways and there is one new way which is uh, through Autodesk desktop app but there is also one good another option which was available in 2021.1 release which is that you can actually add content or let's say you can download a family that you are missing in your project quite easily by searching it uh, through online databases. So let's take a comparison in between 2021.1 and also 2022 how we can add those important families which helps us to start our first project. Let's do a simple example in where you want to use some particular tool um, which is using some certain uh, Revit uh, family or family template and uh, to be able to demonstrate it I have uh, drawn a simple flaw in where I want to use a rebar. So I want to use actually a tool from structure and rebar. But it really doesn't matter which uh, kind of tool you are using in where you do need to have some specific uh, family in your project. And then you have to load it and uh, it should be in your machine it should be available in your machine. Yeah? So for example, if I take 2021.1 release and uh, I select uh, Reba, then I get a general notification that, uh, okay, which uh, end type I want to use, this is just okay. And then I get a message that uh, I don't have any family loaded. So I do need to have Reba shape family. So would you like to load one now? Yes, I click yes. And now we are basically assuming that uh, those families are downloaded into our machine. They are already available and I can select those. For example, if I go to Revit 2021 libraries, English, and then I select uh, structural Reba shapes and I can select one and I can start using it to my rebar um, design. If I use now 2022 release, yes, I do a similar procedure. So let's open up Autodesk Revit 2022 and uh, let's do the same. So I click structure, then I select rebar and now okay, the same message, I select okay and now I want to load one rebar shape family. So I click yes and uh, I can see that actually I don't have it because uh, my Revit 2022 release doesn't have additional content pack. When I did an installation of Revit 2022, I was able to select those basic um, libraries. Yeah? And obviously those doesn't include everything or let's say not every common uh, library that is uh, quite often needed when you start designing something in Autodesk Revit. To clarify this side, I can just uh, draw your attention to two folders. For example, in here I have Revit 2021, libraries, English, and I can see that I do have loads of different um, families. Yeah? And uh, also in here I can see that uh, I do have Reaper shapes and I can select it. So it's available in my machine. So it's not in project, but in my hard drive. And I just load it up when I need it. If we take a look to 2022, then I can immediately see that uh, this folder structure is quite limited. And obviously I do not have those libraries available yet. Or let's say I do need to apply some additional library installation or I have to pick it from some online library. Maybe I can find it uh, one by one and then I download it and then I load it into my project. To make another clarification, in Revit 2021, when you first installed your product, then quite um, obviously your next step was that, okay, let's try to download some uh, content pack. 
and it is region specific so you download only this contents that you really need so for example i do a search revit 2021 content then i get a web page and uh, from this web page i can download a content pack that i do need and uh, this is just uh, um, an example in where i get um, this stage that i download for example uh, metric uh, family templates and also metric libraries and then i do have those in my machine when it comes to revit 2022 you can search it and uh, 2022 uh, and content then you can select the page and it's quite a similar result but uh, the follow-up video why i'm making this was that uh, at the time when revit 2022 came out those content packs were not available through this simple web page and this draws now our attention to a little change that uh, is applied to Revit 2022 and it's about uh, Autodesk desktop app meaning that actually you can download those content packs also through Autodesk desktop app so if you open it up and you select my updates then most common content packs are also available in this list uh, this list is quite uh, messy now because uh, I can see each and every content pack and I maybe never install it but it's still in this library so okay let it be but um, I can find actually an uh, English uh, content pack from uh, this list let's try to find it and um, whew, it's not so easy but here we are so uh, for example when I use uh, for general design I typically install US English content for Revit 2022. I can see that it's 1.2 gigabytes and I can uh, do a update. Let's do that. I can click update and uh, it will be downloaded and installed into my machine. But there is one additional option um, that is also available in 2021.1 release. And let's pick this up again. So 2021, yes. And if I want to repeat the same procedure, that okay, I want to use rebar, and uh, in that case, I do have this family in my machine, but let's assume that I don't have it. So in that case, I can go to insert tab and I can use load Autodesk family. And from here, I can actually search what I need to. So for example, rebar, and I can download now this into my project, just into this project, and it's ready to use and I can um, use it forever in this project. Of course, the downside is that uh, I have to do that uh, each and every time to download it. And uh, maybe in that case, it's good to have those um, in my machine as well. And uh, I don't have to search it from some uh, older project. Anyway, the structure is same. For example, rebar shapes and uh, I can just download what I really need. So instead of uh, installing um, all that content, I can maybe create one that is uh, important for me. I can also do a search uh, through different filters. For example, I can pick uh, language English or another country, also United States Imperial. Of course, I'm interested about uh, metric content. I can do that and then again rebar and I can download it. So for example, if I download this and I load it, then I can start using it once I click this tool again. So rebar, okay, and it's now available and I can do my design. And of course, in 2022, we have a similar option. So if I open up Revit 2022 again, I can do here the same. And obviously in here, I don't have it yet. So it's installing right now, yeah, but uh, I don't have it yet. So for example, if I go through same steps, so at load Autodesk family, I can select which uh, country and also unit system, and then I can search rebar, and then I can start using it straight away. Those are key changes in Revit 2022, and also some changes are available for 2021.1 release. It's a lot easier for you to download a particular family or you can apply this content pack uh, through Autodesk desktop app. 
which makes it easier probably for first-time user to have the content available that you really need. If you got excited to see my next episode, please do subscribe to my channel and you get notifications once I upload a new video. Bye-bye.